Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have another great video for you guys. So we're actually going to do a two-part video today. Um, we're going to be going over the finals of the Game League Tournament. So just to put you guys in a little bit um, of a scenario and catch you guys up. So we have defeated Nova and Tribe Invictus to go 2-0. And the team that we're facing also beat Nova and Tribe Invictus to go 2-0 in a round robin where you face three different teams. So there's two 2-0 teams and there's two 0-2 teams. So obviously only the 2-0 teams can win at this point. And these teams consist of myself, second best, and Jack Chepo, otherwise known, otherwise known as Stupid Chepo, who is part of Omen Elite, and OG Alec and Squashy who represent Tribe Gaming. So those are basically the two biggest teams right now in NA Competitive, if you guys have been keeping up with it at all. Um, you guys probably remember I've done a ton of videos collaborating with OG where we talk about NA Opens when we were on the same team and we faced each other in the finals and we thought, you know, how cool would it be if we can do something together and if we can do a part one on somebody's channel and a part two on someone's channel for two different perspectives on two opposite teams. So what we're going to be doing today is the part one of the finals on my channel, which is going to release and then the part two is going to be on OG's channel. So make sure that you're watching my video first and then his, so you guys can get the full story about what happened. You guys can see, you know, who won, who lost, how it went down in order properly. So definitely make sure you go finish up and watch it on OG's channel. Make sure you tell him that I sent you there. But with that being said, let's hop into the first game. Let's get in VC with OG and let's get it started. All right, guys. So the first set is going to be gem grab. Um, you can see we have pretty different comps. The only similarity is the gene. Uh, we went with a Tick just because we kind of figured they'd go Spike or Barley and Tick does fairly well against them, but they do have a BB which is a pretty solid counter to our Tick. Right, so we wanted to go BB on this map just because we originally thought they'd have a Spike and BB does do a fairly good job against the Spike, as well as the mid here is usually a Jean or a Penny which a BB does do a fairly good job against for applying pressure, so that's why we picked the BB. Um, obviously we have the Jean on Jean matchup which is probably the most crucial matchup we have but good pick by the other team to have the Tick try and counter the Spike. Yeah, so you can just see that BB is being a total nuisance to Squashy on Tick. Uh, there's not too much you can do just because BB is so fast. So it's really crucial that we get that matchup for him. Uh, we just haven't been getting it since the very start of the game. And you can see Bobby doing a really good job just pressuring him right now. Right, so good pull over here by Jack, which kind of solidifies the, uh, the game at this point. Uh, we've basically got Alec down, we have OG down, and Jack's just going to pick up that last gem that we need. So it's going to be countdown right now. Uh, Squashy had a desperation super, but that's not going to do much, and we're going to be going into our spawn with 10 seconds left. Yeah, so I got my pull right now, but there's not too much I can do. You can see Bobby kind of body blocking a little bit. I see second has one gem, so I figure anything could happen, it'd be through that. Uh, but unfortunately, we cannot get it done. So here we go onto the second map and we assume that the other team was going to be running a Shelly here since they do like to run a lot of Shelly and they do have a pretty good Shelly on their team so we were going to go with the Nita as lane. Um, it worked out that we had complete mirror matchup so it's going to be basically whoever can win their side the best is going to win this game. Yeah so you can see me and Jack are kind of trading pretty evenly but Bobby does come over and gets a pretty good shot on me that's going to force me to lose my position and I think I do have to take the long way back. Right, so really good play by Squashy. He actually got the kill on me and was able to back up second and Chepo really, really well. So you guys can see it's basically, again, just lane versus lane. OG's hiding in a bush trying to get his pull off, but we're doing a good job at keeping our distance away from him. Yeah, so at this point, second best just realizes that it makes more sense to come over and pinch me. Um, so he's applying a lot of pressure and getting really good value against Alec, who gets squeezed, and they do get a bear out. Right, so I was able to get the ball, get my ball and kill uh, Squashy and Chepa was able to get a really good pull over there on OG. So it's currently eight to nothing or nine to nothing. Sorry, in gems, it's looking really good for our side, and it's going to take one hell of a comeback for them if they want to get back in this game. Yeah, so I do have my pull, um, but you know, there's very little I can do, and just kind of like desperation pull. Um, it doesn't really matter at this point. Second best picked up another gem, and you know, they're just kind of BMing a little bit in the back. Right, so at this point the game is basically over. Just a little bit of friendly BM since we're all friends with each other and that's going to wrap up the first gem grab set. Alright, so unfortunately we did get swept pretty hard in the gem grab one, so 
Definitely looking to make a little bit of a comeback here. And you can see again, we have really similar comps. The only difference is we have a Shelly and they have a Nita. Right, so me and Squash have been going BB against BB for a lot of the set, and we've been laning each against each other for the entirety of this match so far. So it's, we've got like a little bit of a rivalry going on. Uh, you guys can see Second and OG are kind of in this spike battle in the middle, which is going to basically determine who wins this game is who can outspike who. Um, at this point, you know, we were looking pretty good until Second Best actually baited Squashy's, uh, or not Squashy, Chepo's super. And that really helped, uh, pushed us back a lot and gave them time to respawn. Yeah, so really heads up play for second best. I can see he's still like Tribe, um, even though he's playing for Omen right now. And, you know, Bobby just manages to squeeze through and get a goal. And just like that, they're up 1-0. Right, so Squashy has this ridiculous ball that hits second best twice mm -hmm. and hits me three times. Uh, he has another ball coming in that does some more insane bounces. And he basically team wipes on his own just with the ball and is able to get them that their uh, first goal of the game. Yeah, so 1-1, one, one, a minute and a half left. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking to be really aggro here, just because I feel like we do have a bit of momentum right now, and I do want to finish this game before it goes to overtime, just because we have a Shelly and they have Anita, and Shelly's not typically the best without her walls. Right, so that's a really good thing, a really smart thing that OG's saying. Not a lot of people think about their comps when they get into overtime. Nita is one of the best overtime brawlers just because of her bear. And Shelly would not do very well against that, so they do have to play as aggressive as possible and try and end it before overtime. Yeah, so if I just go spike on spike, it's kind of a stalemate. Second knows my RNG, I know his. Uh, so you can see me kind of looking for other options just to start like chipping them down. Um, just so my lanes can win a little better than theirs. All right, now you guys saw second best did miss that shot. He did have a few tiles, and normally um, for any of the six players in this lobby, we would expect that to be an easy goal, but for some reason second did miss that shot. So that gave them a big opportunity to now come back in this game. Alec having super and band-aid. OG having a really aggressive position. This is looking really good for the tribe team. Yeah, well, I don't know if it'd be an easy shot for Jack, but pretty much everyone else in this <laughs> I'd expect to make that. Um, so you can see 15 seconds left, and like I said, we do want to finish this before it goes to overtime, but we're going to have to make something crazy happen to do that. Um, but I'm sure Alec is getting close to his band-aid. Bobby's kind of pushing up on me and Squashy. Um, so it looks like we're not going to be able to get it done in time. So I'm going to look to take advantage of the Nita matchup, which I do manage to take out. Right, so they're coming up on us now. Uh, they have two supers. We only have two alive. OG's going to pass the ball to Squashy. We gave a little bit of a stun, but the ball is just going to trickle in the net. And that's going to wrap up the first Brawl Ball game. Okay, so for the second time in the last four games, we're actually going to have complete mirror comps, and now we're all really good buddies, and you can you can see that have really similar mind, um, just just comp decisions, and just a bunch of stuff. As you guys can see, we're basically playing the same way with the same comps. So you guys can see OG back on second. They've been having a battle basically throughout the entire match, basically, and OG's been having a really big upper hand, so second's trying to get back into it, but so far it's just a little bit of a stalemate. Yeah, so Spike's always boring at the very beginning of games if the Spike knows what he's doing. Um, so again, I'm looking to just kind of chip down his teammates and we do get position. I kind of waste my super because I wanted, I got a little too excited. I wanted a goal, but uh, you know, it doesn't always work like that. Um, so you can see we're kind of resetting right now. Right, so they're kind of just resetting their health. I'm able to hit OG and Alec over there. OG is going to go down and Alec is going to be one shot. Squashy also goes down, so we were expecting to bring the ball up, but for some reason Jack didn't grab the ball, so it did delay our offense, and we they did have enough time to throw their bear out and start defending. Yeah, so Bobby seems definitely in a good position here, but they don't want to overextend, um, just because we have such a high DPS comp that we can take one of them out really easily. So it's kind of like a little bit of a stalemate right now, and the ball goes back to the centerpiece. Right, so Alec is getting pushed back by Chepo's bear and this is giving us a little bit of a more aggressive position. You guys can see uh, OG in second for the last minute of the game are just trying to hit each other with spike RNGs. Um, they're basically just tying with each other, maybe OG has a little bit of an advantage, but everything else is kind of just a stalemate at this point one minute into the game and nothing has really happened. Yeah, so Squash again some good damage there, but he does get taken out uh, and Bobby gets taken out by Alec. So Jack does get a bear out, but Alec's got a really nice position bear there. And, you know, that's a really threatening place for a bear. If we had all of our team members, team members alive, maybe we could have made something happen, but it goes back to the stalemate. Right, so basically two minutes into the game again, and the ball is just sitting in the middle. No one's really touching it. We're basically waiting until we can get a couple kills on the opposing team, just because it's really hard to go up and score here if you don't get a couple kills and you don't have wall breakers. 
So we're kind of just, you know, continuously just going at each other and trying to see who can get uh, their, the other team down first. Yeah, so 15 seconds left. I think everyone's getting a little impatient. You can see we're all like really trying to get the ball and like push it to the other uh, other team's end. Um, so Jack does get a little too um, cocky and I do manage to take him out and seconds like one shot for me. So I'm definitely going to look to take him out with the overtime walls. And on the other end of things, Squashy does take out Bobby and Alec is there to get the final goal. And that's going to wrap up the first two sets, which are going to be on my channel. So again, a link to OG's channel is going to be in the description below. This is going to finish off the finals of the Game League Tournament. Um, you guys are going to be able to see who is crowned the winner on OG's channel. So make sure you guys check out part two over there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You know, it was super fun to make always when I do videos with OG. I hope you guys enjoyed the competitive gameplay. And that's going to be it for today. I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.